What's up, it's Taylor, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing DIY edible school supplies, and that's right, I did say edible school supplies, so you guys can eat these, and I am super excited because I've never done like an edible type of video before, and these videos are so popular. Like I've seen people do edible school supplies and also edible slime, and this video is super exciting because it is a collab with one of my best friends here on YouTube, Dakota, and we just did a collab like fairly recently, and we are collabing again because because we are best friends and I love his videos so you guys should definitely go check out his channel and I love his videos so much and he deserves so many more subscribers so after you guys are done watching my video then definitely make sure you guys go watch his video he's gonna be doing a what is in my backpack and I will have all of his links down below in the description box so definitely make sure you guys go watch his video and subscribe to his channel and also if you guys are new to my channel then you guys should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single Sunday and sometimes I post bonus videos on Wednesdays and yeah I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say for this intro so now let's just go ahead and get started with the video okay so we're gonna start off by making this edible glue drink and I think that this is so funny so basically I just took my Elmer's glue and I emptied out the container and this actually took me like 15 minutes just to clean the bottle to make sure that there was no glue in it because you don't want to eat glue Baby, And then I just took some vanilla yogurt and I opened it up and then I just put it into a plastic Ziploc baggie and I dumped it in there at first and then I thought it would be a lot easier to just use a spoon so that's what I did. And if you guys were wondering, I just used two of these like really small Yoplait yogurts and I didn't know if one would be enough so I just used two. And then I took a pair of scissors and I cut a little hole at the end of the bag so it would be easier to place the yogurt into the glue bottle. And that's what I did very slowly just so it wouldn't spill out everywhere. I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder, 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 thunder. And yeah, I think this DIY is so funny. And if your teachers don't let you eat food in class, then this is a good way to sneak food into class if you didn't eat breakfast or something like that. Long as you're holding me down. Next up is this edible glue stick and I think this one is hilarious and all you need for this is a glue stick and a string cheese and that's it. And you're just going to want to start off by rolling up your glue stick all the way and once you have it rolled up all the way then you can just take a knife and cut the top off and then with the same knife just take out the inside and as you guys can see I kind of had a hard time doing this but I did get it all out off camera. And then just make sure you clean out your glue stick really well because you don't want to be eating glue. And then all you have to do is put your string cheese into the glue stick and put the lid on and you're good to go. Just make sure to keep this one cold and yeah, that's it for this DIY. And I think this one is so funny because who would ever think to put cheese inside of a glue stick? I don't know, this one just makes me really laugh. But you gotta be there for me too. Okay, so this next one is more of like a hack and not a DIY, but just take a pen and make sure it's a pen that you can take apart. And then just go ahead and remove the end of the pen and also the ink and the springs from the inside of the pen. And then you should be left with a pen that has nothing inside of it. And next it's time for the fun part. So just take your favorite candy and I chose to use Nerds because they are really small and they can fit inside of a pen. And then just put them in the pen and it's as simple as that. And then just put the end of the pen and back on and that's it for this hack. It's so simple to do. If you like candy, then this one is definitely a must for you. Okay, so next up we have probably one of the easiest DIYs from this whole video and they are these edible markers and all you need for this is some markers and some rainbow Twizzlers. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. Just take your markers out of the container and just set them aside and then open up your rainbow Twizzlers and just put them inside of the box. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, this one is really easy to do and I think this one would be like a fun prank because from far away you can't even tell that these are Twizzlers and they are really colorful so from far away they kind of do look like markers. Oh! 
And for the last DIY, we are going to be making some edible tape and for this you will need a tape dispenser and some bubble tape bubble gum. So you're going to start out by taking the tape that's in the dispenser out and then once you have that out, you can take your bubble tape gum and open it up. And next, just take it out of the container and place it over top of the tape dispenser and then push it down and the section of the gum that goes up is what you're going to take out of the gum so that it will fit in the tape dispenser. And you may have to take some extra but just do that until it fits in the dispenser and that's pretty much it for this DIY and I think this one is really cool because who doesn't want to eat edible tape and bubble tape is like the best gum ever. So yeah, that was pretty much all for this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did, then definitely give it a thumbs up for me. Also comment down below and let me know what fall videos that you guys want me to do this year because I'm only gonna be doing one more back to school video and then I'm gonna be starting my fall videos. Also definitely make sure you guys go watch Dakota's video and subscribe to his channel. Like I told you guys, he is my best friend and I love his videos and he deserves so many more subscribers. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say for this outro. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.